You went to schools down here in Varnertown. What schools did you go to? I went to Varnertown School out on the highway across from the church. If I remember correctly, we were the last class and we got out of there in 1958. It was uh, grades one through six taught by one teacher in the same room. Uh, did you have an Indian teacher? No, she was white. Now what happened after the school closed? Did, did it, uh, why did it close? I don't really know the background of why it closed, but the building remained standing for some time after that. We went on up to uh, Berkeley Elementary and then Berkeley High. Uh, so why did you go to an end to uh, the Barnertown Indian School? Why weren't you able to go to uh, the mainstream school? As far as I can remember, that's where we all started, but back then was in the, also in the time of segregation and uh, being an Indian, uh, you didn't always fit into their white only signs. So when they desegregated schools, did you feel comfortable going to that other school that was, that was not your community and not, um, you know, your family members and, and uh, or were you frightened, you know, about what you would have to face with your, with your... Uh... You, I think I experienced a certain amount of anxiety, not knowing what the reception was going to be, not knowing what you might encounter. You got good and bad in every race, and 90% of the whites weren't that bad. You had 10% that act like they had to live by a certain standard, and I think it was things that were instilled in them as they were brought up as children and stuff, like, because you can put children of any race together playing, and unless they're, it's instilled in them to hate, they all play together, whether it's yellow, black, red, or white, or whatever.